All right, and we're recording here. So shalom, shalom, shalom. Uh, we the Akim out here in El Paso, Texas, uh, coming to you with uh, another lesson here today. And the title of this lesson is uh, Faint, Heads Up, Faint of Fire, Not Recommended. And really, we're talking about these, um, and particularly the, in the men, okay, that are part of Yasharala, Israel, or so-called Latin Americans and Latinos that really don't seem to understand or care of the time that we are in right now. So before we get started, let's give all glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Al Shai, Bashem, Akadash. Double honors that teaches others in the voice of great most stone like wise brothers are different on the true faith of the MCP in chief. And to you, brothers and sisters, tuning in, Shalom. Let's start off with our first book here. This is the book of Matthew 24. And starting with verse 9, it says, starting verse 7, it says, For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there should be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, which when you hear that, all these are the beginning of sorrows. That word beginning, if that doesn't send chill down the spines of these jakes or these people, I mean, what, what can? Because we're in a time right now where we haven't really seen this amount of action on this earth since probably what, World War II? You know, where all these nations got all these nations, you know, came came clash with each other. So mm -hmm. you hearing every day in, in, in the news with World War Three, you know, popping up. You've seen this more and more on MSN, World War Three. Almost every time you go there, World War Three. That's all you're hearing is World War Three. We weren't hearing this just only five years ago. Okay, and it says, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and you should be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. These will really believe that they're going to somehow get along. Now, the jig, the, the guy that came along yesterday, um, he um, came to stop to the camp. We showed him the car drive chart, and we also we also uh, you know went into the scripture of who he was uh, that he was above all nations. Yet still. He did not want to accept the fact that he was above these other nations. Jake them have this um, mentality that, that if you think of yourself as better than your enemy, your oppressor, to somehow how you're back, you're you're being what they do. That's the reason why he was focusing more on, you know, Old Testament and you know, not the eye for an eye, you know, type of spirit. Oh. Well, Esau, it's amazing how it's amazing how Jake them, you know, and when you know Yahshua is talking about how how our people are not gonna want to accept the fact that they're of a royal family, a royal line, you know, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you know, why they would be offended when we say that we are above all these people, which we are told we're above all of them. We are told that we are gods, not the not the most high God, but we're gods. We also show them that the world. The gods of this world has blinded our people into believing that they're, you know, Negroes, you know, Span Spix, you know, and Native American or whatever, whatever new terminology or, 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 or name that Esau wants to, to, you know, attach to us. They're accepting that, they're accepting being just beneath the so-called white man or even being in last place as long as they can eat and have a roof over their head. And you saw the offense of this yesterday when we said, we showed him those. He said that we think they were better than other nations. Yes, we are better than them. Okay. It's okay for Esau, the so-called white man, to oppress us and kill us. And we have to turn, but we need to turn our head the other way. Okay, that was Old Testament. Well, okay, if Esau is still continue committing Old Testament ways of doing things, remember Genesis 27 and 41, what did Esau say he's going to do? He's gonna when the time comes, he's gonna slay his brother, right? For stealing his, his birthright. Right. So he's still doing that right now. That's old testament. He's still bringing old testament. Because as far as Esau is concerned, the white man is concerned, that's eye for an eye. We did some, we did him wrong by taking away what he was supposed to be his inheritance. Okay. So he's still angry to this, angry to this day, and we'll go later into Obadiah, which the Lord. When he brings that judgment, Esau is why? Because Esau has had that perpetual hatred for us, man. Um, well, people are willing to accept that from the so-called white man 
But when we speak up and say that the, that the Lord, Yahweh Shemeshai, who is a, a so-called black man, is going to bring death to him. And at some point in time, pursuing the Jeremiah 16 and 16, we are going to lay pause in this man and put this man in 1,000 years of brutal slavery. All of a sudden, you can't have that kind of hate. We're supposed to have love. We're supposed to not be able to do eye for an eye. We're going to tell you, Doug on Jake's. Listen up, man. This ain't no doggone thing for the heart here. This is this is war. And that's why you have them doggone uh, Amalek walking up to these brothers camp and trying to go whose side are you on? What difference does it make? We've we we we've, we've born okay into the mental state of following the so-called white man. That's all we knew. That's all we knew. So we will so in essence, until you come into this truth, you are you are by default on the side of Amalek and Esau. By default, it's only until you awaken into this truth of who we are, mm -hmm. our true identity, and their true identity, do we do we know that we have to be separated from them? That we that we are a special people, that we not are not what they are, because we were just like dogs. They fed us and we followed them. They told us to jump. We asked how high. We didn't disobey anything that the so-called white man commanded us to do so we've been in that perpetual mind a slave mind state until the lord now has waking up man whose job is to go out there and wake up the, re the rest of the elect to get out of this place and they're offended by that how dare you spoil our low state here in great bible in america on this earth how dare you do that go ahead Al. Yeah, this is our first precept in Romans chapter 13, verse 10. It says, love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is fulfilling of the law. See, so like, you no, know, like that guy, that, that, that individual that came up to the camp yesterday had the same, was spewing the same rhetoric that a lot of these people, you know, spew, you know, uh, you know, predicated off of the, 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 the false perception of love, which is, you know, which is, um, you know, which which goes into that false notion that the Most High God Yahweh loves everybody, that He loves every nation, every single nation, the creed, and that goes back to that that originates back to that Satanic New World Order doctrine that the Kushite Nimrod initially attempted, and then Esau adopted it during the Hellenist period, uh, when uh, uh, during the beginning of so-called white supremacy when the Greeks started ruling. Now you have the wicked elite international crime banking families that are picking up where the Greeks left off because they're the same people. All right. So that perception of love has a very evil satanic uh, origin, and it's not godly, okay? A case in point. And those are the enchantments that has caused Jake to be sleeping. This is why <clears throat> this is why in the following verse it says, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Because we were breaking it down to him what salvation really entails, okay? And a prefix of salvation means safe, and salvation is only for Israel. Okay, that's why St. Matthew, the 24 chapter says, those that endure to the end shall be saved. You see? Yeah, exactly. So Jake, Jacob, this is a head scratcher for Jake. When you tell him this, it's like like their their circuits malfunction and their and their and their computing their computer systems. Okay, like a like a you know what I'm saying? Like a uh the incorrect code was inputted, you know, because you didn't tell meaning that you didn't tell them what they that what they wanted to hear, okay, what they're so accustomed to hearing. In terms of false perception love is like they malfunction okay because jake has been asleep for so long and that's why jake has developed stockholm syndrome okay where they where they develop a secret love for their oppressors because they've been a uh you know as an effect a further effect of the uh the long term the the the, the, the um the generational curses you know spoken about in exodus the 20th chapter you know so when you tell them they're special you know they they they, they spew that kind of that, that kind of rhetoric you know, but love once again, love working no ill to his neighbor. And that's why we brought out uh St. Mark 3 and 35 yesterday with that with that individual that came up. You know, what what a what an what a, a neighbor or a brother really entails, man. That's who follows the will of Yahweh by Shimon Shot. Who and uh, uh who was uh predestinated and preordained to 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 uh to be given the righteous luxury to indulge in the will of the Lord, and that's the Israelites. That's why we brought out that Joel 2 and 32 on that whosoever. Okay, on, on whosoever, um, you know, can uh, that whosoever is spoken about in St. John, the third chapter, 
you know, it, it's further uh, spoken about in the same, excuse me, Joel 2 and 32. Okay, it says, whosoever shall call the name of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem shall be delivered. From Mount Zion and Jerusalem shall be deliverance. Okay, and that's talking about the Israelites. You see, and then when we we would see when he was, so was the spirit uh, was, was uh, you know going upside his head with these spiritual haymakers, he couldn't take it. Okay, and then even to the point to where he was he was even even when he was pro, uh, produced the scriptures, he was still questioning it. Okay, like oh okay, like we told him uh, we called it Psalm eighty two and six that we are gods, die like men. He's saying that okay, well, uh, you know, being someone being labeled a god is like basically blasphemy. That's what he was saying, okay? Because why, why, why was he saying that? Yeah, because Jer yeah, Jeremiah two and thirty three it says, um, "Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways." Okay, and what does it say in Romans thirteen and ten about love? Love is a fulfilling the law. Okay, the law statutes commandments only given to the Israel. And we perpetually broke the law, statute, commandments under the first holy covenant. Okay, that's why we got cast out of Israel, and this is why we we were given over to our enemies to serve them and their gods. And this is why he was spewing that kind of rhetoric, man. Okay, go ahead, Doc. Yeah. And then when you go into the book of Isaiah, chapter thirty-seven, verse eight, it says, "Now I go and write, write it before them in a table and not in a book, that it may be for a time to come and forever." This is rebellious people lying to her and turn that will not hear the law of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai. Now, clearly, you can see, you know, when he stepped up there with, you know, the cap on, you know, and I look at the background of the the man that he was talking about. Um, I forgot what, he, what the name of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Side. And that, that turned out to be an Edomite. See, yeah, so, not surprising. Yeah, which, which, which I'm like, okay, so there it is, right there. You, you're in the spirit of these Edomites here. They don't know they don't know anything mm -hmm. he's coming to the spirit like this guy's got more balls than anything like that it's like well define what you call balls or what you call bravery does this man step out of his comfort zone mm -hmm. is he is he is he has he been tried to tribulations like we have no yeah they, that's don't, why they don't understand that the lord specifically is raising up men and demanding the man to go out there to what to preach to the dry bones, okay, in the body of the shadow of death, which is great Bible in America. Can these bones live again? Well, guess what? The bones are living. The uh, elder, uh, uh, I was in Ramla went there the, uh, the other day. We talked about the fact that, you know, when they first started out like that, you know, there was no real, you know, nobody mm -hmm. really was, you know, coming into it. But as once, once the YouTube really came around, these other platforms came around, you had the ability to live stream. Now you stand to now the, no, the volume of the word is starting to go out there, and you have more and more people that are hearing it and coming to and turning to this because this is the only way out of what is about to strike this place. It's true, this minute, it's true, it's true. It's done, you know. Yeah, and this you is only, the only nice word. Go ahead, this, is, this is only escape route, um, out of outside of the uh, um, away from the tribulation that's coming. The only way. The only the only way out is up by being being built into the chariots, okay. Whether to do death, okay. Whether to do death or, or not, like it says in First Thessalonians four chapter, the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first, and they will have their first they will have their first reserved seats on the chariots, man, okay. And those who do not die, okay, will be beamed up into the chariots. So the only way either either way the only way up the only way out is up, okay. Up. It's so engulfed in gross darkness that they can't even comprehend that. Because they're too busy, uh, all right, following the examples of modern day Egypt, which is America, the modern day house of bondage, okay, which you see further, you know, uh, you, you, you see, you know, uh, uh, you know, further, you know, represented, you know, through, the, through the, uh, the symbols on the screen, the images on the screen, man, which is captivity, Jake in captivity, like especially the one in the middle, where you see a Gadite, all right, uh, you know, on, on the subjection on, under the devil. They get ready to commemorate on the 23rd coming up this week. Okay. I believe it's on the 23rd. Okay. Or, or oh, so yeah. somewhere around there. Thanks killing. Thanks killing, yeah. See? And they want so, so much. You know, they they could closing down Jim. You know, they're closing down gyms, they're closing down um, you know. 
they're closing down gyms, supermarket closing early. I mean, they would stop all forms of, of sustainability so they can set, so so people can eat at a feast that really is the is a so-called white man letting you know that I have control over you, that I have murdered and killed and done horrible things to you. Yet still, hundreds of years later, I have you sitting down giving thanks to me for keeping you under great oppression. And that's why I continue on, it says, and this is Isaiah chapter 30, Psalm verse 10, it says, Sadaki verse 9, it says that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord Yahweh Shemeshai, which say to the seers, which is us, see not unto the prophets, which is us, prophet, prophesy not unto us right things. The fact is, Esau is the enemy. The so-called white man is the enemy, beginning with Amalek, who controls the banking system, the media system, and every facet of life here on this earth right now. And it says, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy to see. Tell us it's going to be okay. Tell us there's going to be some sort of peace at some point in time. You know, if we do everything that the so-called white man says, well, we've tried that. We were, we, it was called slavery. The Lord Yahweh Shemeshai put us in there. And now he's taking us out. Now, many of our people are not happy with that. They're not happy with getting out of slavery. They want to be here. And it says, go, he says, get me out of the way, turn aside out of the path, because the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Wherefore, thus said the Holy One of Israel, because he despised his word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon. Therefore, this iniquity should be as be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in the high wall whose breaking comes suddenly at an instant. And this is going to be that moment where we're talking about heads up, faint of heart is not recommended. Because you look at that, you look, you look at that, you look at that. Who we thought we, we we think is a Jake that showed up yesterday, okay? And there is somebody that's going to be depending on this guy, man. There is somebody, you know, children, a woman, maybe other family members, is going to be depending on this guy. And these people really believe at some point in time they're just going to just suddenly man the hell up. You're not going to suddenly man the hell up. But we can go, we're going to go into scripture that talks about that, exactly how the men are really going to be functioning in the days of the wrath of the Lord. Yahweh Shemeshai, when he bring, he bring, when he sealed the elect, the men that know what time it is, the seers and the prophets that bring it over to you, you know, we're not sugarcoating it. We're not here to make your fucking dog on feelings feel good. Man, women, or children, your wife, your girlfriend, whoever, it, you don't like it, get lost. That's right. Get lost. Tell your bitch if it's a wife, get lost. Get lost. Go out there. Your son, your daughter, whatever. Because at the end of the doggone day, every man has to seek his own salvation. I look down on the chariot as your ass is getting raped or getting freaking burned the fuck up. This ain't for no faint of heart. We're not here to please you. Or to give you smooth words or whatever the case is like that. Amalek okay. has demonstrated exactly who they are and what their intentions are. But uh God, this is a precept. Jeremiah chapter six, verse 14. All right, Jeremiah 6 and 14, it says, They have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. And that, that pertains to these false prophets, okay, these wolves in sheep's clothing, okay, that are, that are uh, uh, telling our people that they're, they're Israelites, but they're not, they're despising prophesying, like it says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 20, all right, which means they have leaven in their doctrine, okay, and that mean, and they're not, they're not, they're not crying aloud and sparing none, meaning sparing no feelings, pursuing our 58 and 1, by warning our people, by, by, by truly Sounding that ram's horn, if you will, that, that you know, uh, uh, by that proverbial ram's horn, by uplifting their voices like men and really warning our people, sounding that alarm and warning our people that danger is coming. Okay, you know that that you know you know uh, uh, you know that, especially in, in the time of Jacob's trouble, where you know we're approaching 
okay? You know, um, as a result of uh, the civil war that Esau is, as, has uh, conspired and engineered, you know, through the border slash migrant crisis and migrant surge and so forth, all right? Uh, global warming, climate control, all right? National, you know, a, a threat of national security. They're blaming on this whole uh, Hamas situation, Hamas in the Hebrew, meaning violence. So it's not a coincidence that they have that name, okay? So everything is uh, every everything is 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 a part is, are you know are uh, are of pivotal you know proverbial puzzle pieces to the downfall of this devil, okay? And it's all centered around prophecy, meaning to say before, okay? But you 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 uh, in order to prophesy, okay, you have to have the you have to have the unction to know all things, and you have to have a certain measure of faith to pro to prophesy. Um, you know, these end time prophecies in its entirety, man. Like it says in the book of Revelation 10 chapter, we have to accept the the bitterness of the scriptures along with the sweet, the sweetness of the scriptures, man. And the sweetness is, you know, uh, when we first came in, you know, we were ecstatic that we found out that we were Israelites. So we wanted to tell everybody. But then we started becoming more grounded within this foundation of, of the truth, which is Yahweh by Shem Shai. Okay. You know, uh, we, we understood that there's bitterness that comes with this thing. And this is why there's a, there's a quick precept here in the book of uh, Sirach, Sirach, the second chapter, I believe it is. This is uh, Sirach chapter 2, verse 1. And it says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, Yahweh by Shem and Shai, prepare thy soul for temptation. So we're going to be tempted, man. We're going to be tempted by the flesh. We're going to be tempted by these demons that come up. Like I was telling brother about five years ago, his agent came up to the camp. I wasn't, I wasn't shook, man. I wasn't scared because I knew that was a part of prophecy. Yahweh Shemeshai sent that demon up to the camp. Okay. You know? So I actually embraced it because that effort that reminded me that I was doing something right. You see? So a lot of these people are going to start coming up to the camps, you know, whether the agents or not, a good number of them are, you know, because, like, you know, in the time of Yahweh Shai over 2,000 years ago, there were spies sent to spy on his liberty, so to say, to spy on the liberty of Jake, okay, through him, because he's our gateway of peace. Like it says in Isaiah the ninth chapter, he's that prince of peace. OK, to restore the government of Israel. OK, and these people, these spies that are sent up, these agents that are sent up, OK, which are part of temptations to try our faith. They're sent. They're sent to spy out our liberty, man. OK, because they don't want they ultimately they want our people to, to remain asleep. And this is why in Jeremiah 6 and 14 it says that, you know, they you know, it said that um, it said they they uh, healed also the herd of the daughter of my people slightly. OK, meaning they, you know, they they've been preaching sweet nothings or whispering sweet nothings in our ear you know, that prosperity doctrine, you know, like they like they do in the churches, okay? And, and a lot of these camps are in that same spirit because they're under that 501c3 charter. So they're nothing but Christians, so-called uh, wacky-tacky Christians with fringes on, man, okay? In order to be a prophet of Yahweh by Shem and Shai, you have, uh, you, have to, uh, you have to be willing to accept that there's temptations that can try your faith even to the point of your demise, man, because it can be, you know, uh, because we're against his world, like Yahweh Shai said. If you were of the world, the world would love you as their own, okay. And, and if they kept you, if they kept my sayings, you keep yours also. Meaning what? Persecution is coming, and we see the signs, man. Through Esau, Edom's persecution uh, tactics, he's doing by trying to tie us into this Hamas bullshit, trying to deem us as domestic terrorists, okay. Really, what he's doing is, uh, you know, he, he's further shining more light on his truth, and that's why in Psalm 10 it says, "He shall be taken in the devices that he has imagined," okay. So, so, so in this spiritual war, I is going to have to be uh, ch uh, chosen. Either, you know, choose the side of Baal, okay, which is, which is idolatry, which is what America represents, by uh, uh, subjecting oneself uh, completely to this beast system, America, and ultimately taking the market to be some market chip, or choosing how by Shem and Shai, the side of righteousness. And Jake wants, Jake likes to shadow the fence, where they like to proclaim their love for the Most High. But then they don't acknowledge what the true love is, like this guy was doing. You see oh, that? Yeah, we just gonna, you know, we are, you know, hey, we're brothers, and I like, you know, I ain't seen him get offended. You know, I said, no, you, you're not my brother, man. I John. don't associate with weakness. You're, you, you're weak. You're useless, absolutely John. useless. And first of all, by you showing up there, you are on camera, which is gonna go out there. These Edomite, Amalek, or whoever, whoever the powers to be, will see it. And you talking about your 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 son up there in his ignorance talking about Amalek and, and and the people who are in charge of this earth, the wicked ass people in charge of this earth, not understand you just associate yourself again as an enemy of these people. Because he thought he was fucking he thought he was still going clever yesterday. 
Kind of. So, so trapping in our words, and then when we ask them, whatever producer, reason, man, it's like it's not gonna work. <clears throat> yeah, it's not gonna work. Produce his calls. We ask him to produce his calls, like it says in Isaiah forty-one and twenty-one. Okay, he 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 couldn't provide any scriptures. The brother even handed him his sword. He even offered to hand him his sword. Okay, we well, here's my okay. Uh, substantiate the, the, the scriptures, and you couldn't do it. <laughs> he looked at the Bible yesterday, Ark. He looked at the Bible yesterday, Ark. Like he was dug on come Dracula, man. Like I was giving him the dug on holy, dug on cross, and he's gonna get burned. I, I watched the video. <laughs> you see his hand draw back, like like I can't touch that. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, hey, went through the spirit. Damn, he looked man. like he's dressed like a fucking vampire, man. He, you know, all dressed in all black, shades on, you know, giving off yeah. agent vibes and shit. So it's through the spirit that he was he was acting like that. But you know, if, if he's a, if he's an agent, he's a dumb motherfucking agent, boy. He's like, y'all need to do better than that. He's so send your Done. fucking best, man. I mean, Done. they're gonna get crushed. And we was going easy and light on this guy. Don't just chew this guy up, gonna chew this guy and stump on this fucking. Oh yeah, no, we, oh, yeah. We, we, uh, we were very patient with him, you know. And we, if we really wanted to cut him, like like it would, you know, it, it just you know. But the spirit had it to where now, nah, you know, we just because for sake of edification, we the spirit led us to uh, handle him the way we handled him. For the sake of edification, that's why I was uh, when you upload the video on 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 your on, on your uh, your YouTube handle, there was a Jake on a convoy that said that um that guy was thoroughly rebuked and still acted like a child, you know, because that Jake man is sottish. Everything's a damn joke to Jake until there's no more food and water and electricity. Like okay, what's going on down there in, uh, in Holy Land and within the Gaza Strip? Okay, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna happen down here. Okay, like just like uh in in 73 A.D. And during the Battle of Masada, which was basically our last fortress against the Roman uh, siege, uh, Esau was uh, withholding uh, food and water and, uh, and other goods uh, to be, um, you know, to be, uh, you know, exported into Jerusalem. That's why a lot of cannibalism, a lot of famine and cannibalism was happening. And that's going to happen again because Jerusalem is a people before a place. And he had made a comment such as that where he said, um, he said, spiritual Jerusalem. He kept saying spiritual Jerusalem. And he said, you know, you know, we, we were establishing that uh, Jerusalem is of the royal priesthood. It's a people, okay? And we became Gentiles because we fall in the ways of the natural Gentiles. There's another thing these people don't understand. They don't understand the difference between uh, natural Gentiles and the unnatural Gentiles, which are uh, Israelites, okay, that inherited an Israelite state of mind. I mean, excuse me, a Gentile state of mind. And this is why our people don't know who they are. They think they're, they, 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 they keep going by these Gentile names, Negro, Hispanic, Latino, Indian, so forth. Like this guy, he said basically, well, I don't care about that. I don't care about, you know, I, I basically said, you know, I, I don't I don't mind continuing to be called a, a Mexican. And you can be destroyed in your sentence. Like it said, like how should I say in St. John the 8th chapter? You got it, Doc. Yep. You know, when you look at going to Proverbs 1 and, and 7, it says the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shemani Shah is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Okay. Which up there yesterday that was instruction and he despised it now you look at this pose he has right here with the hand on the chin you know he, you know he almost remind me of reminds me of that that uh woke out malone guy dresses up kind of like that come around with that except you know he's nowhere near the level um of you know learned like woke out malone who actually would go and read Done. and come and come a little prepared you know, to confront the camps. This was a guy that drove by many weeks stores out there, finally went and go took a swag of liquor, get enough guts to come up there, came up in that same hearty, laughing, Edomite spirit, and think that he was dealing with some low level or whatever, some nice guys or whatever case like that. It's like, no, you you are you are you are stepping into the lion's den, you know. He's also offended the fact that when I said that, you know, we're out there only for the whole fully left. Meaning we're not, we're not here for the entire El Paso. If the Lord is only going to say five people, Lord willing, we're part of that five. Kind. That's it. Well, not just that. The other 590,000, whatever the hell amount live here, I don't give a crap what happens to them. Women, kids, baby, I don't give a shit. You're not my problem. If you're right. a Hebrew, like you will be reborn, okay, through the righteous loins. Okay, of the man that is crying, crying, and come back, and you'll have your little place. You'll have your place, as the two thirds will have in the kingdom. At the bottom of the kingdom, you're weak. You and especially for a man, it's very offensive when I see a man 
especially one that has a little gray hair on their face and look like they've been around living for a little while, come and act like, like an insubordinate child up there. It's something I'm not going to stand for. Now, we, we show patience and love. That was love that we showed yesterday. Okay. Patience, you know, and I know he felt a little bad, you know, walking away, you know, being sent away in the sky, but it's like, we're not going to stand there for five hours. You, you're not edifying. You're not You're not bringing anything that's going to edify the sheep. Our, our job is to feed the sheep. We warn uh, uh, Esau of his impending doom and destruction and all the rest of you other nations, okay? That's our job, you know? And you look at the beginning of the video, how he walked up there. That was a strut, prideful, Edomites type stance. You know, this is what they learned. This is what they learned, okay, in Great Bible in America. This is why the Lord set up Negro, uh, 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 Judah, House of Judah first. Okay, because we are the most despised of all of, of all of the uh, uh, people on this earth, but in well, fact, we are the most despised even amongst the tribe. Okay, the rest of the dug on the Northern Kingdom like that. They really believe somehow, you know, the Spaniards and they got light skin. You from Africa? Which, if you look at Spain, Spain is is part of the G7 uh, or, or the G20, pretty well off country. Got a got a strong history. You know, written in Esau's books, but Africa is always synonymous with dug on starvation and famine. Okay, it's almost a shame to come from Africa, the continent of Africa. Even though, just like America, you have multiple nations there that are fairly well off, but Esau, like 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 he does, like a locust, goes and plunder and pillage all those nations over there for for their resources. Okay, and then call it his. This man is not a creator, he's a destroyer, okay? Nice. And we have a lot of our people, you know, pursuing like this, yeah, this, uh, what does it say here? <laughs> Jeremiah 2 and 14 says, it's Israel, the 12 tribe of Israel, so-called blacks and Americans and Latinos who walk around, drive around proud, walk around proud. The Northern Kingdom, Wanted to look, want to look down at the southern kingdom because of the color of skin. Yet still don't have nowhere near the skills to that off the southern kingdom, the oppressor, us, the southern kingdom man. But still walking around with that dug on that egotistical pride. It says, "Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled?" And they don't understand that. It starts with the mental part first. John. And that's why I was offended yesterday when we said, when we read what the Mashiach said, ye are gods, but you will die like men. Well, you know, we're not gods. I don't think I'm dying. You're not gods. You think you're gods and all that stuff. Yes, we are. So is Esau. Right here, we read the scripture where it says, the gods of this world has blinded those who can't get this gospel. So the Lord referred to them as gods. He said, "There what? There are many. There are many lords, and there's many gods. But then there's only one true High, Yahweh Shai. John. They don't. They don't understand what a god really is. You are the god of music. Michael Jackson, we consider the god of pop, or the king of pop. Yeah. Right? You know, Michael the Jordan, of, the, queen, the queen, the queen of the queen of soul, Rita, Rita Franklin." Yeah, you got Michael Jordan, the god, the, the god of basketball. Kobe was considered like a basketball, you know. Just like you, you got different worlds, you have different gods because God is, is uh, God has a meaning to it. It means it means power. But you know, Jacob, exactly. understand that when you look at the outside, the outside looking in on the surface, they think of just the Most High God, okay? You know, but why? But uh, there's miniature gods, like like it says in First Corinthians eight and five. Well, Apostle Paul was saying that there's lords many and gods many, roughly paraphrasing. You see, so you got God, you got you got idols that are worship as gods, and this is hypocrisy of Jake. He kept saying Jesus Christ. That's a plethora of different gods of pagan Greco-Roman gods, specifically including Zeus. Okay, the top thunder god, which is the top god of all of Rome. So you know, a Serapis Christus, another idol. Okay, that that the the, the, the name Jesus Christ originates back to another god, a stone, a dumb stone that can't talk. Pursuing a Habakkuk, the second chapter. Okay. Um, you got you got a, a, a Bacchus, the god of wine. Okay, so Jesus Christ is a plethora. It, it goes into polytheism, the worship of multiple gods. Okay, so Jake don't have an, an, any understanding, man. That's why 
you know, it came out yesterday. Cam study to shut us up approved because you come in, you step into the line, you you step into the lines, then you got to understand what you're what you're what, what you're talking about. OK, in order to substantiate what you believe, what you think you believe. OK, to ultimately to be led into repentance. OK, through the true gospel, because like it says in Ephesians 4, child, there's only one faith, one one gospel, one baptism. OK, to be baptized in the Holy Spirit, you have to be an Israelite because wisdom cannot enter into a malicious soul. But it's just what happens that two thirds by people have been, you know, become worse than Esau. OK, that's why he kept he kept he kept goofing around, laughing. OK, because you think this is a joke. You think you could just. You, you know, we got the plantation Christianity spirit where you can just um, say, proclaim your so-called love for the most high and then be a demon and then and then purposely transgress. You know, like like like, you know, you can prepare to eat swine knowing even goddamn well that swine is transgression for the transgressions against the law. But then you have the, you have the audacity to, to plead the so-called blood of Jebus over the swine before you indulge in it and consume it. OK, you can do the same. You could have the same mentality before you go out there and commit adultery or whatever or, or, or commit any kind of transgressions. You see. So like, like I said in Scripture, man, the, 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 the Heavenly Father said, were you, were, were, was that ashamed when I committed abomination? Jake has no shame. OK, they have absolutely uh, they have absolutely no shame when it comes to committing sin. All right. That's why Jeremiah 6, 15, it says, were they ashamed when they have when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not at all ashamed. Neither could they blush. Therefore, they shall fall among them that fall. At the time that I visit them, they shall be cast down, said the Lord Yahweh. So there's a reason, there's a reason why people have fallen, been downtrodden so far and so long. Okay, like like you know, like Jeremiah said in Jeremiah the second chapter. Why uh why is Israel become a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? Because of our transgressions. Like it says in first Maccabees, um uh what's that um was it first Maccabees where it says uh we suffer because of our sins. In the book of Maccabees. This is why we fail. This is why our people don't uh, collectively know who they are. Like it says in Jeremiah 17 and 4, and through the spirit, our uh, elder apostle Rama did a video on this topic. You know, you know how, you know, you know, basically, you know, uh, why people are coming against us so much because we're proclaiming they were Israelites because we're not, con we're not considered, okay, to be the people of the Lord. It's called lost identity. That's a lesson topic by apostle Ramla, the uh, elder apostle Ramla, you see. Uh, because this, this was going on, like the Ark was saying in the beginning of, of, of the of the epistle, you know, uh, you know, the the, the, the the apostles and elders were out there for for years. They were out there from like ninety seven to two thousand seven without any fruit coming in. So it took, you know, yeah, it took a, a strong stance of faith to continue to, to endure uh, those temptations. Because that's also temptations, okay? Um, you know, facing uh, the opportunities to go back into the world because it doesn't seem like any fruit is coming in. It doesn't seem like Jake is waking up. You know, you know, we're used to that out here. OK, the majority, you know, and then, uh, uh, you know, a handful of people we have spoken to and the majority of the ones that we have spoken to are are all full of shit. That's why uh, Ezekiel said prophesy to the wind. See, so going back into the lesson, to, uh, a topic title, man, faint of heart, not recommended. OK, OK, your heart has to be purified, meaning your mind has to be purified. OK, in order to accept the truth. Otherwise. Uh, like like how I said in St. Matthew seven chapter, you're gonna you're 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 gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna uh, be swept away when that rain comes because because of your lack of uh, solid foundation on that rock, which is how by Shimon Shai spoken about in Deuteronomy thirty two and four. Okay, if you don't have that solid rock, that solid foundation, you're gonna be feeble minded. Okay, when 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 uh when 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 a uh, economy collapses, when these banks foreclose. So they're expected to really start really happening in, uh, on January 1st, 2024. Okay, when there's yeah. martial law troops replacing law enforcement. Okay, you're gonna shit bricks, and and, and, and you're gonna give up the ghost. And when you, and when your heart fails you, like it says in St. Luke 21st chapter, if you're if our, if you're not standing on a solid foundation, man, and that starts with us, because we have to examine ourselves daily before we continue to, to step out there. Just like when we first came into the truth, we had to examine ourselves, what our flaws were, and so forth. So that way, when we started preaching. We, we would not be found hypocrites, man. You see, but Jake, Jake doesn't have that. Jake, you see, we are, you have to have shame. Exactly. Okay? He doesn't have shame, though. Jake, you know, like, you know, that, that guy that came up was a perfect example. And that's how, that's how he looked. He looked like a damn, he was dressed like a damn I'm Amish, a, like, a, like a, a Malachite, man. Yep. You got it, Doc. And it's part, and it's part, and it's part, and it's part of that dead, those the dead that are, that is walking amongst, you know, that Esau has walking around.
apologies. You know, so uh, we'll close out for this uh, for this particular uh, lesson here. Um, you know, Lord, Lord willing to hopefully that was edified here. We'd like to close up by giving all going on it too. Yeah, Howard, Hashem, Howard Shai, Hashem, Kakadash. Double honor says, teachers, elders, and apostles, great, most so likewise, brothers, are they put on the true faith to be the CP and the sheep and two brothers and sisters. Again, Shalom. Shalom. Watch what a worm. Watch what a worm.